six pound monster uh, in the tree. In the ground. Okay, so the basic setup, it's really simple. This is the sweet beaver. And some people will split the tails and supposedly it gives different action. I just fish it straight out of straight out of the uh, package. The reason why I like to use this is it has a really tight body. It glides really simple. It's a lot of plastic and so it actually floats a little bit more. So my weight drags it down slowly and that's when I get most of my bites. Uh, main forge in the delta is crawdads. So if you're always fishing crawdad patterns, you're going to do a lot better. Okay, so go with the crawdads. Uh, the way that I rig it, people can rig it various different ways. Um, this is a 3 16th ounce lead head bullet. There's tungsten weights now that are a lot smaller and probably a little better. Um, but as far as price wise, you just go with the old lead. So there's uh, 3 16th ounce. And then I like to put a bead because the bead I think indicates a lot of different strikes. Either it's a crawdad chasing something. Um, it gives you a little bit more action because when it when it flutters down, it's kind of like a crawdad chasing a bead. Also, when I wiggle it, it rattles. And it, and okay, so I have braided line. And anytime you have braided line, you want to use a palomar knot. Because a palomar knot is one of the strongest knots. It also has no stretch and this stuff will stretch on you so I've seen other knots just come untied so to tie a palomar knot go through the hole and you go back through the same hole you just go right back through there and that makes a loop on one end so you have a loop now what I'm going to do is I'm going to like I'm tying my shoes so I'm just going to go over and under and what that does is it makes a loop now what you take that loop, so you put the loop around the hook and then you just pull tight. Now you always want to put spit on your hooks. That gets lubrication plus this stuff will wear down and fray. And that's Palomar knot. So now you have your 3 16th ounce weight with a bead and a 5 aught gamakatsu hook wide gap so this is how you rig any plastic baits and I always rig them uh, weedless and it's really simple there's a shank on your, on your hook and you want to go in a little bit more than the shank of your hook. See how the shank of your hook? You want to put the hook in just a little bit longer than the shank of that hook. So you're going to put the hook in at the top and go in, I usually go about a half an inch. And one of the important things is you want to puncture right in the middle. That's going to keep it from spinning. If you puncture onto this on one side, it will make it spin and then you've got line twist. So pull the worm all the way down onto that shank and if it's a little longer that's actually good because then it goes up and covers up the knot okay so the shank is now in the bait and now you turn the hook around and you push it through the bait Okay, this is an important step because this is going to make you hook up more fish because of the way that you hook your hook. See, a lot of people never penetrate their hook all the way through the plastic. So when the fish hits, the hook has to go all the way through the plastic before it hooks the fish's mouth. So what you want to do is you want to push it all the way through the bait. And if you're feeding, fishing a lot of weeds, so all I do is I tuck the nose of the hook back in the bait and so now it's weedless so there's no way it's, it's not going to hook on any limbs it's not going to hook on weeds
but when the fish hits it pops out a lot easier and you get it a better set with your hook so once again you hook it all the way through and then you tuck in the tip of your hook and that's all it takes so this is the setup that I use at least 90% of my bass fishing time is I'm throwing this around weeds, I'm throwing this around logs, around rocks and I just let it glide down and uh, to the right weight and it makes that clicking sound and when you get a bite you'll, you'll feel it. They'll either tick or they'll just run with it um, and you'll just have major weight on it. And they're looking to eat crawdads and it's a great crawdad Im imitation. So that's it, that's the sweet beaver.